I get to shoot with a group of three of the fastest guns I have hunted or guided with on an early season duck and goose combo, and I reminisce about the year I built the lodge back in 1995. In eight and a half wild weeks, I went from digging the hole to limit of honkers on opening day. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. I was flipping through a photo album the other day, and I mean, who has photo albums anymore? And uh, I came across some pictures from 1995 when I built the, the hunting lodge. You know, I was a 27 or 28 year old kid with a bad haircut and an empty tool belt. I started in 1994 and booking hunters that first year was really, really hard. I mean, lots of advertising, lots of marketing, toll free numbers, there's no websites, there's no social media, there's no iPhones. Come January, the phone was ringing, I was booking guys, had more people booked. I had confidence now to book guys. We had a bunch of pictures with, you know, dead birds. We had some success and the hunters were, were coming. And I thought, uh oh, well, I got no place to put these guys now. So I thought, well, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. My dad went, all right. And he was, he was sick and actually he was dying. He died that February. He never did get to see the lodge or see me starting building it even. He goes, just do a good job at it, you know? And, and I, I mean, kind of makes me sad that he never got to see any of that. I'm sure he'd be proud of, of what I accomplished. I mean, he, he loved to hunt. I remember making the decision and we ended up with a real estate agent. I said, this is kind of where I want to be. And he found a piece of property where the lodge sits now and it was a, on the edge of a creek. And I remember walking down along the fence with the real estate agent. I just looked over the edge and I go, wow. We'll take it, you know, and I looked at the point and I went, that's where the lodge is going to sit, right there. And I knew nothing about how to build a house or a lodge or any of that. I remember working so hard, booking hunters, telling the hunters the lodge will be ready. Because I was teaching, I really couldn't get started on it. So we dug the hole for that lodge for the basement on July 4th. And on September 8th, Right there, we shot a limit of honkers out of the first round of our goose chairs, and more on that in another episode. But um, it was it was a wild ride uh, getting that lodge done. I remember not having enough money to rent a compressor and an air nailer, so I really didn't have the time. But you know that saying, you have more time than money, or more money than time. Well. I had neither. I had no time and I had no money. Uh, fortunately, I was young and energetic and worked around the clock. I remember things like, like the table. I built the first table and I called it the system. And I wanted the clients to sit at a round table and be there with the guides. And it's, it's so critical uh, at mealtime and to create that camaraderie and the banter around the hunt of the day. And the one thing I can say that has stayed the same is the table. Now we gave it a lift kit. At first we had old lawn chairs that I had bought for like 388 at, I don't know where I bought them, some hardware store. And if there was a Cabela's around then, oh my goodness. I mean, life would have been so much easier to decorate the place. And it was eight feet in diameter, and, and I still have that table to this day, and I still have the same big lazy Susan. We've served a lot of food around that table. Anyways, we have a fun episode coming at you right now. I'm hunting with Mel. Because of this whole COVID mess, out of 10 hunters, we ended up with three hunters at the lodge. I had a full complement of staff. So the bottom line is, I decided to hunt, and I get to hunt with these guys. Had a lot of fun with them. The only thing is, they are fast. You 
found your pin now. I found it. I'm hot and it's good. It's good. I'm excited. I know. Be, I'm I really know. excited. I don't get to hunt very often. So that's good. And like Mel said, we only have three hunters in camp. So Jeff went home for three days and then Mel and Jay and, and Daryl, they could do one group in their sleep. So then I just thought, oh, I get to hunt. What's the wind doing, Melvin? We're gonna use the Cabela's Renegade Series blinds, which you haven't used yet. No, I haven't. I'm we looking used them forward last to year. That. Unreal. There's Unreal. A I love them. A lot blinds. more room in them, and yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they look really good, but I haven't had the opportunity, so. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Right on. Right on. Okay, guys. Uh, let's take this bag of specs as well. That'll be the last bag we'll use. No. What? We're short of blind. You're lying, right? <laughs> So let me explain how we're going to set this up. If the wind is at our back, okay, I'll, just, I'll just do this for illustration purposes. So the wind's straight at our back, the birds will approach like this, right? Straight in? Uh -huh. Okay, so if I'm laying in the blind, when I say take them, the birds are going to be right there, right where that light is? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I can shoot to there, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. But I can't twist this way to kill the, into the zone. So we so twist watch the what happens when I twist this way. So we twist the blind this way for a right hand shooter. Ah. Then he's got swing here and he can come over. At least a solid 30 degrees. So now the kill zone's there. Right. I can shoot from there. And you can shoot there. there. But I can't shoot this guy. And, and I can't, can't shoot, shoot this guy. guy. But yeah. you swing the whole zone, right? The important thing, obviously, is to make the blinds disappear. But like this stuff's got to be tucked in really good. The doors are critical because the minute you start flicking the doors, all the stuff falls off. Then we'll, the later into the flight, especially geese. The ducks, you could be standing out here in a purple suit most days, but the, the geese, that'd be well covered. And me and Mel will be running out in front of the out in front of the decoy, so just careful not to shoot us. Never a good way to start the day. Just remember, guys, as those geese start to approach, just get get covered up you can keep your hat hat and eyes above the the blind and then just tuck the little mesh right up against your nose go 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 this won't take long okay we're not stuck coming back get ready guys. back right behind he's gonna side. swing over from behind Oh yeah. Kill him guys, kill him! Good job boys. That's two in the bag. Here comes two. Yep. Little high. Oh, we can kill those. Kill him! Yeah, you can. If you hit them, they fall. <laughs> we just didn't hit that last one. Tell you what, 70 yards straight up, no problem. Big Canada. <laughs> go, 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 go! Nice. See, he looked far, right? Yeah. He looked far. Not that far. Yeah, he was probably 20. I'll get to two real quick. You can get this one? I'll get the far. Yeah. Hey, we got a herd coming. Oh, big flight okay. back. Woo! Holy. Make sure his guns are loaded, boys. Yep. Okay, listen to Mel real carefully, okay? Okay. He'll direct the traffic. Remember, watch your toes. Yep. Because those are the ones he's going to call. Oh man. See those ones? Yeah. Those ones hooked yeah, right there. Front, guys. Yeah. Look at your toes, boys. Right straight in, guys. Yeah. Let them get in real tight now. Kill them, guys! Ah. 
Not bad, five boys. Watch that one, watch that one. Get load up, load up, load your clear. guns, load your guns. Watch that far goose now. They did it perfect. Told you they'd be on your toes. That was perfect, no. That was perfect. Beautiful. Ducks are sleeping in. Yeah. Oh, right here, right here, Bill. Oh. Sorry, guys. Never seen them. It's okay. They must have come in right off the roost. They weren't six feet off the but ground. You're in the penalty box. You're supposed to wait for the call. I oh. I did say right here, Mel. Yeah, I, I went with Claudio. Claudio I know. I, I didn't. I said right here, Mel. I just about went take them, and I thought, well, they'll probably swing around. No big deal. <laughs> they made short order of that one. Left side, Mel, coming in. Yeah. Whole flight of them. They're going to land, Clark. Rip them, guys. Five for sure. Oh, there's dead stuff everywhere. Five for sure. That was sweet. That was sweet. I hate calling them when they're all way away from everybody like that. They were so low, you had to. Yeah. Yeah. Left side. Kill them, guys. Kill them. Let's get in, boys. What are we at? Uh, 14 geese, two ducks. Oh, wow. Now the sun's going to be in our eyes. Whew. Nice shooting, guys. Claudio. Malissimo. There you go. Oh, oh, single, single, single. single. <laughs> Be a perfect shot. Hammer. Nice hey, shot, Mike. You can shoot. No, it was on his barrel. Mike, if you'd have missed that, you'd have caught a little bit of shit fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's going to catch a little regardless, so. Well, who knows, right? With the way the wind is, might have, they might have felt a little congested for him, and he can't yeah, get in. Give him a way bigger hole. Oh yeah. Oh, right here, ducks, ducks, ducks. Kill him, guys! Oh shit! Well, they come in quick. Yeah. Those might have gone around again, but whatever. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, like they're coming in so hot, they're hard to kill, right? Well. Yeah. Those were way too hot. Now that wind, Claudio, is going straight, straight, yeah, just like that. Yeah, so they should be targeting this side, which is weird. You know what we could do, Mel? See those three specks? Pull those out, give them, block that off, and put the hole right there. I'll do that real quick. Go, go, go! Well, we could move the robos out further. <laughs> On your toes, boys, the way we like them. <laughs> Shoot them in the head, you don't wreck any heat. No, not yet. Not yet, no. Oops. Kill him, guys. Are you kidding me? You let one go. Every time I put my gun on one, it folded. These guys are too fast. <laughs> we gotta tie you down. Too fast. 32 birds so far. Is that where we're at? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. This time we got him. Oh, yeah. They're giving us one sniff, eh? Yeah. Kill him. Five or six. Maybe six. I went for the far one and I saw that one explode away at all. That's you sweet. Need 14 more ducks. <laughs> well, I was going boom boom, boom and all of a sudden this is past it. Like, this is not going past it. No, you gotta shoot those. Even those, I called them too late. Little. Right. You getting enough shooting? I'm doing all right. Yeah. Okay. You want to switch? Trade. Tell me. Yeah, you guys can switch. <laughs> I'm doing...
I just unloaded my gun. I think he's joking over there, right? No, I'm serious. Uh, I okay. he, okay. Mike's definitely had the hot wine today. Holy oh, goose, goose bell. Kill him. It might have been nice if I would actually had my safety off that time. I didn't even try shoot the goose. I just, I biffed that duck. Go to pull the trigger. Safety. Duh. Amateur. I'm an amateur. Watch these ones, guys. Left side. Over the robos. Yeah, that's what we need them to do right there. Kill those guys. Or not. Fuck. <laughs> I couldn't see in the sun. What was that? That oh, was it took terrible. me three shots to get that one. You're in the Shooting sun. too far in front of them. Hey? Shooting too far in front of them. Yeah. They yeah, can tell because they go like this. The sun make it a little trickier. Chewing, like, yeah, the sun definitely makes it trickier. Yeah. The depth perception. Yeah. Oh yeah. Single duck. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Nice shot. Right there, left side, Mel. Yeah. Here they come. They're they're hooking. Kill him. Oh, oh shit. You didn't see that one come in. Kill him. Nice shot. Uh -huh. Good shot, Rich. Oh, 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 oh two oh, ducks. Oh, oh. Yeah, just get ready, guys. Just don't, don't move, don't move. move. Just don't even move. Kill him, boys. Still, you know what? You get a flight of six in. Oh, I know. With the, it doesn't take guys long. Shoot? You just got a single duck. Guy. Oh, here's a flight of four or five, guys. Yeah, you Melvin? Yeah. Get him in tight, buddy. Two singles dropping in ahead I'd of leave them. the two. These three are coming around. Get ready, get ready. Go! There's four. Make short work of that. Yeah, easy. Of all the slow groups, hey, the one oh, morning, no. the one morning I get to hunt, they're all fast and they don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> and Claudio's hell? not a bad shooter, but he's not as quick as you guys. <laughs> ducks coming left. Well, we don't want to do. Where are they? Left. Mel ducks, flight of ducks, five ducks right here. Them perfect, Mel. Do it, guys. Claudio, Maybe. these guys are near as good as those other guys. I know. <laughs> Did they get them all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so you want us to count all these? Yeah, guys? let's do a count, guys. There's more ducks coming. Yeah, well, well how many did you kill, two. though? There's I don't know. We killed four. Well, there's four right well, there, they, right? They dropped four. Come on, boys. So now we'll actually go behind the everything and just put eight behind your blind in a nice pile. Okay. And then we'll get a good, good count. No more patos. How many you guys? Six. It was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you click it was right on, Mel. <laughs> all right, so great morning so far. Uh, we, we shot all our ducks. I mean, it was it was a little slow out of the gate on the ducks, and then we made a little adjustment. And then once they start, once the feeder flights came, it was, you know, fours and five. And these boys can shoot. Uh, you know, I usually can get out of the gate pretty quick and I'm being just average today, but uh, these guys are fast. I'll have to up my game. Uh, and then a bunch of geese landed at the far end of the field and you can tell it was sucking some birds over. And I mean, you can't control everything in the 5 million acres. Um, we had Jason and uh, Daryl Rout spotting, so I'm sure they'll have something for us for this afternoon and good to go. Today was a real a treat for me, probably more than these guys, because I don't get to hunt that often, which is a real pleasure. Uh, Mel really put us on them today, you know, and we used the Cabela's Renegade Series blinds. All right, well, so today, 
We ended up in a wheat stubble field. Mm -hmm. We just thought it'd be a great opportunity to use the Cabela's Northern Flight Renegade Series blinds. And since these came out last year, I absolutely love them. I love the way they fold up. I love the way they feel. They're a little bit wider. They're, they're no longer, but they're absolutely perfect. And then from a comfort perspective, concealment, they're low. They're only about 13 inches high at the top of the head, which is perfect. A little cradle to keep your head even a little lower. Coming out shooting is easy. We had three clients from California, never hunted with us before, never been in lay downs, just love them. From our perspective, we need something that is basically guide proof, client proof, and human proof. And the reason I say that is because when we use this stuff every day, there's nothing we can't break or a client can't break. We need simplicity and convenience to pack stuff up quickly and, and it's compact and easy and strong. You have to remember, we're doing a lot of this setup in the dark with a bunch of clients that haven't used this stuff before, right? Snap it together. That's your blind with chaff ready to rock. I like them. And great, I know great shoot. You had the lucky blind today, like they I were, did. right? Yes, right in my face. There we go. All day. Well, okay. they shot good too. Oh, that, yeah. all yeah. these guys <laughs> shot well. They did. They shot really well. Like I can usually get out of the gate pretty quick, and I was being. I thought, you know what? Like I do this enough. I wanted you guys to have the experience, right? I didn't want to shoot a bird out from underneath you. Yeah, that ain't happening tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try <laughs> come out of the gate fast. Bring hey, it. You're fine. You guys are fast. <laughs> yeah. I know there was there was one time there was like those five or six yeah. ducks there, and it was like ah ah ah, and I shot at one doing about 55 yards yeah. away. It's like oh. Same with them geese. They were dumping, and yeah, I I could see a point. Yeah. Uh, you know what we'll do tomorrow? We'll just tie them down. There you go. Pretty we'll much half. Yeah. yeah. Strap the doors together. <laughs> we might right let on. you shoot the outside blind tomorrow. What do you think? Thanks. Okay. It's all right. No, I'm <laughs> in the middle. I do. I see this every day. I want you guys to enjoy it. Right on. This is yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. hopefully we can get some of these goose legs in the instant pot. Uh, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah, quick. they'll be like so good. Line. Really instant. We might have to help. We <laughs> might really have instant. to help help Barb cut a yeah. few out, but that's all right. Easy. Right on. Right on. It's a wrap. Thanks, Mel. High five, buddy. Good job. Thank you, Mel. Thanks, Mel. Good yeah. shoot, you guys. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs>